There, hello, this is Anita, and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about one oh, other essential oil. This one is called Frankincense, and it is the most powerful incense uh, in the entire world. Now I have to look down and read because it is a new oil that I've never really used, but I bought it, and now I'm out of it because I used it so much. And I'm just showing it comes in a bottle like this, like all essential oils do. There is a variety of plants, but it's the same plant, it just has different, what do you say, lines in the family, and there's particular ones which are better than others, but you should check that out yourself. I just use pure frankincense oil. Frankincense oil, you can either inhale it in boiling water or via a diffuser, but if you use a diffuser, you have to make sure that it is not heating up, that it is a cold diffuser, uh, or you can mix it with shea butter or some other mixing oil, thick oil, you can mix three to four drops into it and rub it on an area, or you can take it inwardly if you put it in a capsule, a few drops, and take it in, inside. So, it is just the brain's function in all matters, also brain injury, by inhaling. It goes directly up into the center of the brain and it helps. It helps with shaking, tremors, as I said, brain injury, and you inhale it or you put it in a diffuser. It can bring hormones into balance and in your glands. Um, I don't know, glands like you're staring, if you have a like, glands in front of your eyes, you can make it clear. Um, it is great for the lungs and the entire respiratory system, respiratory system, and for conjected, conjected breathing. So that's how you do when you inhale it. Um, you can also use it in a moisturizer. You can add. I'm I'm making a video soon where I'm gonna make a moisturizer where I add a lot of different essential oils, and I will tell you that later. It helps with scars. It can practically remove scars, acne, rashes, cell regeneration. It is anti-aging. It helps with dry skin, cracked skin, stretch marks, anti uh, age spots, and cellulite. And that, that you can either put it in three or four drops in some shea butter. I would suggest you use shea butter, and you can rub it on the area. Um, it can bring down inflammation. It is great for prayer and meditation. If you have it in an incense or an inhaler, or, uh, or inhale it, or you use it as a diffusing. If you diffuse it, it is really, really great for meditation. It makes you focused. It lifts you up. It is also great for depression and all this anxiety and whatnot. You can suffer from sadness, loss, everything. It will. It's a heavenly energy oil and it will lift you up uh, it can aid in cancer it cannot cure cancer but it can aid in the curing of cancer is cancer especially skin cancer um, so i can highly suggest you get this oil i personally i use it for everything i use it for my brain i inhale it mainly i inhale it and i use it in lotions but i ran out so i'm waiting for a new bottle to arrive then I'm going to make a, a, a facial lotion which will keep you young and beautiful. So I hope you got wiser with this little video about frankincense. I think it's very important to know about essential oils. I had a wart uh, and uh, I used oregano oil on it for a long time, like long time, like 10 days, which is the maximum you can use. A, a, organo oil because it's so potent it is really heavy and it burns on the skin and yesterday i could pull it out and now i'm ward free and it is amazing i had it for two years and i didn't know what to do about it i was supposed to go to the doctor but then something happened and i never went and now it's gone out of my system and that is awesome anyway i hope you're having an amazing day and i hope you like my channel please do subscribe give me a like and i'll see you later namaste bye have a great day